Is it true that did that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after, well... <laughs> oh, man. I love being a bartender. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Valhalla. Uh, last time we- wait, the Ballad of the Gay Ghosts. Last time we were here, Dorothy made me afraid for uh, fear for society. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be surprised, but it's still daunting. <laughs> Jill bought, bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. Ah, uh, the song. Thursday, December 15th. Good evening. Whoa! Hey there! Uh... Who are you? I was expecting the bar to be... different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah... Uh, Le Leo... Leonidas? Leonidas? Gillian. Marcello. Marcello. <laughs> I stumbled across her on my way on my way in and I asked if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? You didn't put the helmet on she didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh? I went to school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. The habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature? To G... G... Um... I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Mickey Miki girl came here yesterday before her concert, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B Link more, actually. The stoic looking duo, right? Yep, those. Huh. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a, a hacker. No, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You. Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Psh, sure. I'm a once a <laughs> uh a bad touch. We're nothing but mammals after all. Two Bronson, two powder delta, and four carmatrine. All on the rocks and mixed. I almost hit mix without reading the rest of it. Sour Classy Vintage. 
Oh. I can't believe I've made a mistake. It's because I completely skipped over Flanagrid. <laughs> On the rocks, mix. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl you keep laughing over this- Who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action roleplay. Sounds more like the nickname of some very hard-handed, heavy hard-handed, heavy-handed writer or a military organization. What did he roleplay as? Have you ever heard of the Woodstock fires? Those events where people briefly dress, stink, roll in mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time, you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there in a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. We all don't need a fuck. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you- Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know- I'll have you know that my Uncle Juan taught me ven ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh? Ventriloquism? Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. A weird drink. Hmm. Promo drinks fit that bill easily. You mean like this? Can I just give her this? Fedora with perfume and a plum. Is that even a drink or is that... Food. What if I just... Here you go. Nope, this looks pretty common to me. I'll take it anyways, but no tip for this one. What are you talking about? How is that common? What do you want me to do? Whatever, I don't like you. Immediately don't like you. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines... As a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they've prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. 
You know, decades ago, there were this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was uh, just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is a logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating, no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. The antithesis of your usual bogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. It's not taking into account all the cop cats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but is also really m muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. It's how it feels for me, and it sinks to that damn Alice Rabbit thing. Let me see. But enough of that. There's more pressing matters at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for, for, out sometime for too long. Oh, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We can have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big brand teeny. Finally, that's the Alma I know. Big brand teeny. Easy enough. I'm not doing good today. <laughs> said big. Fluff dream. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here. Wrong. Come on, girl. I know you can do better than this. You know, I was wondering... Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs, not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... 
They weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a deceitful nerd or something. Give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Wow, the questions. Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now, see ya. I really just <laughs> screwed up everything with Alma. Take care. Hello, sugar. Ow. Oh. Mr. Donovan. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hot as fuck and that's all my abdomen feels. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. Bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. Gotta tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. Mr. Donovan wants the usual. <sighs> Three days, and he already has a usual drink. This, I can't screw up. I can't. I can't fuck it up. Not with Donovan. Donovan is my number one. The usual. Sure, this'll work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? The girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working a clin to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of our outlets, but then result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm. Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. That big titted Lilum was he <laughs> That big titted Lilum was here? Oh my god! She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? Nope. Tabloid worthy? Nope. Come on, that has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here or anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey, kid. Do you think Lilum have nipples? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean... I guess if they wanted to, that could be a mod. I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilum Chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity's killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on the Lilum look good? Bunch of guys in a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sons of a bitches. <laughs> oh, Donovan. You... I don't know whether I wish you would change or not. I guess you're better than... Some people I've recently met. Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? I can one share when there's honestly nothing to share. 
Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They send a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. He wants a bleeding Jane. That's a change of pace. Say the name of this drink three times in front of the mirror and you'll look like a fool. Spicy, classic, sobering. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So I've heard this is Donna Zane's bar, is, is it true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some air bears. Six years ago, a cash-strapped Donna Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears, she beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out, out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well I gotta go. Next time you see Donna, Thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was, a, was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's put... being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Ryan might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. Heh. <laughs> what about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a... Levitation potion and then threw himself off a building. Ah, yes, the levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Eminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Oh, <gasps> cat lady! Uh. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is Say planning now? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Sure. What was that drink whose name was changed after people called a stink? Is that Piano Woman? Here you go. 
Very nice, thanks a lot. So you know, say, miss... I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes. Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh god. So she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Wow, quite a few people. Says as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least, when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. You see. So did she recommend you this place, or...? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kira Mickey's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I mean... She did? Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, this star-like signature is hers. So your name's Jill, then? Yep. Ain't this nice. Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for her the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Alright. Drink in honor of a good friend. Hmm. Is that Piano Man? I think it is Piano Man. Man, trying to remember stuff... Not easy. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of the, a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. Other colors or stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs? It sounds a bit silly, but I say it out when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I started with my grandpa's collection and I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic too and figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. 
Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I like a drink that was... You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing... You're wearing poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? There'll be two fringe weavers, then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What? Like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. Two fringe weavers, easy enough. One, nine. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Bubbly, classy, strong. Two fringe weavers. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. The spares should be saved for when you... For when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jam button? Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yes. Yep, you worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging young youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Sigh. Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what, after I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way, you can vent all your frustrations. Alright. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You coming, say? Nah. I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Bye. She's such a worrywart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of whatever's nearby? It must have grabbed it from one of the from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing in that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on. I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, Zai... Zai... Fatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. 
something about the associate's fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately, they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needs to relay some information to the manager and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong message, but it's his intention that counts. Uh, oh. Fine. Oh god, is this Dorothy? Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing our clients. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild for that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <laughs> oh, I like... Cool. It's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you have a drink. Can I buy you one? Oh, you're having a drink. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. And I got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each. Alright. Say is a little smooth break. She's so funny. But I like her. I think now I can finally say that I like Say better than Donovan. <laughs> or they might be on par because Donovan does tell me about a bunch of weird stuff. Alma kind of messed me up because for some reason doing her voice like <laughs> doing the country accent that I did for her really hurt for some reason one of these will make all your teeth turn blue hope you brush them well sweet girly soft oh this was a soft drink too optional with carmatrine two fairies hey this is pretty good see and it's blue like your hair. It is. So what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Alright, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Say, Say. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes fuckboy over there. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is of what that's... <laughs> is of one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're in here, in what looks like your work attire tells me, that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its, ex to notice its, its existence. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute, and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Your tongue is a BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. W what about them? 
I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes, the tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the M.I.R.D. 11.3 of Realta Industries, a model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. Is it so? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations of Modifications Law on the topic of ballistics augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. Well, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Eh? I'm not in law enforcement, I just do rescue, and even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Uh, oh. I want to know though, why go through that upgrade? A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I wanna be able to deal with things if they get ugly and this is the most discreet mod I've had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips, assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use. Regular use, of course. Uh, I see. Well, I've got to go. Oh yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Y yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye, bye. <laughs> I kind of, like, I'm trying to do the sort of high voice, but at the same time, I'm sort of, like, giving up because my throat really hurts. And it's not, like, when you speak for too long and it gets kind of rough, it's, like, I'm tensing it too much, so it hurts. <laughs> Please come again. <laughs> I thought she was going to take me away. They would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years! Two if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue. Very pre prehensile, intuitive, and also it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trait. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Alright then. I didn't need that in my mind. So you fancy yourself a diviner reading people and all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. What can you say about me, then? Let's see, hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration, something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know, who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws a ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky! Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you let me satisfy your frustration, I could stall for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye-bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract, yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back then, or the visage... 
That welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of the out of a jar. No, oh, yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in it and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey, Gil. How did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever situation. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. The incident, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh? Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I once attempted to eat something that was too big for my mouth. And I not only not only did my jaw get stuck, but I'm pretty sure I pulled like a muscle underneath where my tongue is. And it was the worst feeling in the world. Then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled their Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z one. Still, Jill's onto something here. <clears throat> yes, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. I messed up twice. 20% <laughs> commission, flawless service bonus, not granted. Everything will turn out alright in the end, don't worry. <laughs> Eight hundred has been charged to your account to renew your membership to Shining Fingered. Jill's subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Birthday. Really like that website, huh? I mean, you really do. I have needs. <gasps> I get to celebratory buy something. <laughs> I really want to get the beer on whiskey, so... <laughs> the beer on whiskey with the... <laughs> the beer on discount. Where did I get whiskey from? Oh, because I was reading... <laughs> the beer on whiskey. that all my beer right there? <laughs> Did I already look at this? It seems like it, because I recall reading this one. Let me, like, quickly scroll through it. Yeah, we did. So I'm guessing this is a new one? You wouldn't believe this shocking secret. Today we'll have a closer look at one of the most popular acts of our time. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What's about her romantic life? Don't miss this Don't miss this exclusive interview. 
Alex Rabbit might be a Kira Miki fan. And who isn't? Everyone loves Kira Miki, and Alex Rabbit is no exception. Oh god. <laughs> you might be wondering what's my proof for this not so wacky theory, and well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns. This is an easy one. You just. I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smith. Crime up 5% this month. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by the by these dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. I shall end this part here and I'm going to continue right off into the next one. It's nice to see other clients interacting with each other and it was good to see Say again. I'm curious though about that cat modification thing that they were talking about because it looks like it's organic rather than being like an augmentation like robotic stuff. And like it was moving like it was like that and with uh augments it seems like it shows on people's bodies and you could tell that it's there and stuff but the the cat ears really look organic so it was kind of weird I'm curious about that <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you all have a good day and a good night. Bye 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 bye